Okay, so a change in price and a change in income is what I promised you in this video, and we'll just get started. So uh, the definition of the price effect is it's the effect of a change in the price of a good on the quantity of the good consumed. So a change in the price of a good on the quantity on the good consumed. So let's say that uh, our initial price of wood is eight dollars like before in a, like our past example. And at $8, we consume at point C in uh, figure A, which is this top graph, and at point A in figure B, which is this bottom graph. Now, let's imagine that the price of wood falls to $4. So the best affordable point before was 8 bucks, which was at C. Now the best affordable point is $4. And that is at point J, which is this budget line, which rotated outward to meet uh, to meet this point J on the indifference curve. So essentially this budget line is the tangent line for the indifference curve I2 at point J. So the new best affordable point is J in, uh, in the, this top graph that we have here. This will have to be reflected in the bottom graph which is our demand curve graph. And so in B, we move from, uh, we move from point A to point B a movement along the demand curve for wood. So you can see here that at point A, our price was $8. Well, the price of the wood fell to $4. So what we we'll actually do is draw a point. The point will be on the same level as this $4 mark. And, and our wood unit, our x-axis, will be 6 because uh, there's a reason why I drew these graphs on top of each other, just so I could reflect the change uh, the change that happened in the due to the price effect onto the demand curve so what I'll do is I'll actually draw a straight dotted line down to meet the same uh, the same level uh, on the demand curve so uh, so we were buying six wood units before at uh, at four dollars on well, we were buying six wood units and four t-shirts at the, at figure A. Now we're buying on the demand curve. We're buying six wood units at $4 on figure B. So it's as simple as that. I really can't explain much clearer than that. All you need to know is that when the price fell, the budget, the budget curve rotated outwards to meet the indifference curve. It became the tangent line for the indifference curve I2 at point J. And from point J, we drew a straight line down, down and beyond graph A to graph to figure B. And from that point, from that point, we looked for four dollars for the wood because it dropped to four dollars. And then we have a horizontal line and a vertical line, and the intersection would be point B. And we'll just and then after that, we'll just draw a demand curve across uh, the across the points. A and B to have a demand curve that meets both points. And again, A actually fell to B and moved along the demand curve to B. Now, uh, a change in income. A change in income is uh, like the same thing. Again, we have two graphs stacked on top of each other. The income effect, the definition of the income effect is the effect of a change in your income on the quantity of a good consumed. So let's say you got a raise, how much more will you consume now? So we consume at J originally in A and at B on on figure B on demand curve uh, DO. So that's what we have initially. Now let's say that our income decreases. So what actually happens is our budget line shifts leftward from this uh, income equals forty dollars from this income to income equals twenty eight dollars. So our budget, our budget line shifted leftward. So we we'll just draw an arrow to show that shift, and our new best affordable point is now K in uh, in figure A. Now again, uh, what we'll do is we'll take uh, we'll draw, we'll just draw a dotted line uh, from 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 figure A beyond to figure B. So a dotted line. So here we have 
we were buying four wood units at and three t-shirts. Here we're also buying uh, four wood units and, and we're still paying a price of four dollars for wood because our price did not change. What changed was our income. So price did not move. So what we will actually do is we'll just draw a horizontal line from B to 4 and then we'll have a horizontal line going from uh, 4 at 4 for the price of wood and we're buying 4 wood units because that was reflected on reflected from the graph A at point K onto graph B at point C and at the intersection we'll just draw our 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 dot and that will be C and that's the new point that we are consuming at and then we will draw a line a new demand curve line and that is a really shitty line so I'll just move it and I'll make that co line color a different color let's say red so so what happened actually was originally uh, our income was forty dollars we consumed at point J and at point B uh, on demand curve DO our income fell from forty dollars to twenty eight dollars so the budget line shifted leftward and our new best affordable point uh, was K on the on on the lower uh, indifference curve I1. Uh, K is the point at which the tangent line meets the indifference curve and then we reflected that onto uh, graph B and then our demand for wood decreased and that is shown by the leftward shift in our demand curve from D0 to, uh, to D1 which I'll write here. So that's it for this video. I hope you understood and I try and I conveyed properly what I tried to convey. It's kind of confusing, but I'm sure you'll get it. It's pretty simple once you get it. But uh, other than that, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll talk about substitution effect and income effect. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.